Hey guys, Tori Burningham here with westernlandforsale.com. I wanted to put this quick video together for you to uh, answer a question that I get a lot from people that are interested in buying and investing in land and they call up asking about how they can view it on their computer. Now all of the properties on our website, uh, westernlandforsale.com, we will always list the GPS coordinates so you don't have to you don't have to go through this process with those but I'd say 90 percent of the land that I see for sale out there on other websites or from indiv individuals uh, they only list the information that they got from the county uh, and that is the township range and section now a lot of properties um, they have roads but they have not been named or they're not designated. It's not like you can say go to 5th Street and, and Walnut Avenue because uh, those have not been given those names. This is rural land on the outskirts of growth, remember. This is where the streets and the infrastructure eventually is going to come in and we want to buy it before that happens because when, before that happens we can buy it real cheap. In fact, you know, a lot of times people can't even find it because they don't know what this means. So um, the township range and section comes from the public land survey system, and you'll get a kick out of this. That originated in the year 1785. So uh, unlike your computer from five years ago or your smartphone from even two years ago, they're both obsolete. This system has lasted over 220 plus years and still going strong. So let me show you what we can do with this information. Section 11, Township 25 North, Range 33 East. We want to find that property located on our computer to see if that's, if that's an area that we like. Go to uh, the Google machine, we call it. I have a guy who bought some property from me recently, and uh, he was an older guy. I said, just out of curiosity, how did you find me? He said, oh, my son was horsing around on the Google machine, and he found you. So I started laughing, and he started laughing, and ever since I get a kick out of it, whenever I, whenever I think about that, I tell people, just go to the Google machine. It's, this is a Google machine. Go to the Google machine and type TRS, that stands for Township Range and Section Data. Doesn't matter if you use a space or not, uh, this pops up number one. Go to TRS Data and under the graphical locator here you'll see that it asks you what state you want to use and in this case I know this property is in Nevada uh, and then we'll go to the township and it was township 25 range 33 section 11 so we'll set township as 25 and it is north double check and make sure but uh, again this is T25N for north R33E for east and we know that it's range 33 east and we know that it's in section 11 simply hit submit and now it gives you the GPS coordinates in both formats decimal degrees which is right here this is what I use 99 percent of the time unless I'm dealing with a website or a piece of software that doesn't recognize decimal degrees it may want the other type of GPS coordinate which is degrees minutes and seconds okay uh, so here you can take the GPS coordinates I'm, again I'm gonna use the decimal degrees that's the little bit shorter one right click on that and copy it now it's been copied to my click clipboard now I can go back to the Google machine let's go here and go to the home and select maps for Google Maps and I can now paste those GPS coordinates in here now the reason I need to convert that is none of the mapping softwares rep recognize township range and section uh, there are some, but they're expensive and they have monthly subscriptions. This that I'm showing you is a way for you to use this uh, information, the, the public land survey system, township range and section, to be able to find any property for free on any computer anywhere. So I've now pasted the GPS coordinates into the Google machine and I hit search 
and it shows me with a little green arrow where that property is. I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit. Actually, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see what's around. And now I see uh, I see what mountain range is here, and I can start messing around with this and do satellite photos, or I can do um, I can go to some of the other services like Bing or MapQuest, and they all give you a little bit different uh, picture. I can also use driving directions. I can I can come up here and say get directions, and you can see that here are my GPS coordinates. So wherever I'm starting out from, I can put in to the section A. So let's say that I I know how to get to Reno um, and I can hit get directions and that will give me the driving directions to that property. Now that is giving me the GPS coordinates to the center of the section. Let me give you an idea what a section looks like. A section is 640 acres so that put me right here in the middle of that section. In order to really pinpoint it, I need to have the rest of the information. And a lot of times you will have the rest of the information. You'll have section 11, T25 north, R33 east. Now, if you're just trying to get a general idea of where the property is, then the center of the section is fine. But if you want to pinpoint a little bit further, then the legal description will help you. And it'll look something like this. It'll tell you that it's in section 11, township 25 north, range 33 east, and that it's on in the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter. Northeast quarter of the southwest quarter. So I need to identify, I kind of go backwards here, I need to identify the southwest quarter, and then I know that this property is in the northeast quarter of that. So I want to go look at my section, and this is just an example. Um, it said northeast quarter of the southwest quarter. So I'm looking at the southwest quarter, which is this area here. This is the southwest quarter of that section, right? Top of a map is always north, the bottom is south. And if I'm facing north, to my left is the west. So this is the southwest quarter. So I would want to separate this southwest quarter into quarters. And this is just an Excel. Uh, I'm just going to draw a couple lines here. And I think they're going to be accurate. OK. So and that's a little bit high, but I think you get the idea. This entire thing is the southwest quarter, this entire quarter here. And this is the northeast quarter of that southwest quarter. So in this case, this is 40 acres. I know because each quarter section is going to be 160 acres, and I just divided one quarter section into 40 acres each. So this one is the northeast quarter of the southwest quarter. So that's how I can get a little bit closer. Now in this case, the uh, GPS coordinates that TRS data provided for me is right here, right in the section, right in the center of this section. In this case, I found one corner of that lot. I just found one corner. Now if you want to get more technical, give me a call. I can tell you how to find the rest. But uh, this is a great resource for you. It's totally free and it'll work every time if all you have is this information. Again, we will give you GPS coordinates. We want to be completely transparent on all of our properties so that you know exactly where they are and you can see them on maps and get driving directions and things like that. Uh, if all you have is the township range and section, this will be a great way for you to find the center of that section and then if you need to, get the legal description and get a little more detailed with it. All right, I hope that helps you. Uh, watch out for further emails, and please give me a call or send me an email. You can visit us on Facebook at Western Land for Sale, and of course our website, westernlandforsale.com. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.